question everybody's been asking, where have all the workers gone? People were looking for staff even before COVID. Eric, I was mentioning in the lead up to the Democratic National Convention, which was supposed to be in Milwaukee back in, uh, tw- when, when was that? 20, 2020. Right? Everybody was saying like, oh, I don't know how we're going to be able to handle this. Scramble just, for workers. Right, whether it was the hotels, or the restaurants, other you know related businesses. Where are we going to find the workers? So it was an issue before COVID. It definitely is an issue post-pandemic. And I had a co- fascinating conversation. Good friend of mine. I've had him on the show before. He's president and managing partner with a business consulting firm called LAK Group in Brookfield. His name is Mike Grubich. And this firm, you know, they consult various businesses. Business says, I'm looking to hire. I can't find anybody. What do you guys recommend? Or what are the trends out there? So he follows all these trends in the workplace. And he's just interesting to talk to. So Mike's telling me what they're finding is, as we suspected, many people did leave the traditional workforce But it doesn't necessarily mean they're not working on something. They call them the relaxers. You know, everything that's gone over the last couple of years, they just decided that they're going to exit the workforce. They're not actively looking to return um, to traditional jobs anyway. And so they're not they're not reengaging in the workplace. And and it's probably a good, you know, 10, 15 percent, maybe in that percent of the workforce. So it's a pretty significant number. Were they people, Mike, who just they didn't need to work or uh, they've just found other ways to pay the bills. Like, how are they? How are they getting on? They, well, I, I think what they're doing is they're trying to find non-traditional things to do. So whether they're maybe they've gone off and decide they're going to, you know, write a book or they're maybe starting their own company or, or doing something on their own. So they, it's not that they stop doing anything. Although there are some of those who, right, who you know, saved enough money and decided why go back for another couple of years and then retire. I'll just just I'd end it now. But they just want to do something different, something that's meaningful to them without the, re- the, the, the restrictions or the structure of the traditional workplace. I thought that was interesting. I mean, Mike acknowledges that there are some who just kind of dropped out and they're not doing anything. But he said most of the people in that category are working on something. They're writing their novel or <laughs> right, right. You know, trying to make money on YouTube. Yeah, maybe doing school or something else sure. to re-enter yeah. the workforce at some point. Um, as for the people who are still out there, they're still they're still searching for the perfect job. And for many employees right now, they want work from home or at least flexibility as options. There is a, a, a percent of the population that they they liked the idea of working from home. That, yeah, they they like that flexibility that they have. They like that they can go cut the grass at one o'clock and not have to do it on a Saturday afternoon. Um, And then they'll work till seven o'clock at night. And they really like that. And I, and that right now isn't going away. I mean, there's, there are a lot of people who are not going to work for companies because they can't have that flexibility. Uh, And there are a lot of companies that are turning people away because they, need them in the workplace. So if you're a business owner or a hiring manager or somebody who's looking to bring people on, what do you do about that? Uh, Talking with Mike Grubich, LAK Group Business Consulting Firm in Brookfield, um, they're telling businesses right now to maybe rethink how they're hiring in this environment. And really, instead of trying to get butts in the seats in the short term with the traditional people, there's a problem with that. He suggests maybe playing the long game. You know, the, the challenge they all have is they're going after the same person, you know, hospitals are all going after nursing, the nursing population. They're going after the same people. Um, you know, uh, engineering companies that have engineers are going after the same pool of people. Companies to got to start shifting and looking at what town pools are going after and, and get away from the traditional spaces. So like if you tend to recruit in a, in a heavy urban area, are there rural areas that you can go recruit and maybe develop people? Um, are there people that you might not stay away from because like, for instance, they don't have a degree, but they, it's a job that's trainable. So can you bring that person in and teach them how to do that job? I think there's, you got to start being more non-traditional to expand your talent pool. Something also to watch for though, as we, depending on whether you think we're in the recession already or that one is inevitable, some of that will start to tighten back up and the power is going to shift back to the employer. The leverage will loosen <laughs> it a bit. It certainly will. Mike Grubich, LAK Group. You can look them up online. Great insight. They've got articles up there on their website if you're interested in these sort of things. It's called Transforming Careers. 